Okay, <clears throat> another lesson from algebra, page five, which is 1101, and pages nine and 10. And this builds just a little bit more on what we had in the preceding pages of this pace and the previous paces. <clears throat> Let's go back to uh, elementary school for a minute. And remember, if I have a fraction like two thirds divided by, let's say six, oops, six tenths. How would I solve that? Well, the answer is that we flip the second fraction, right? So this one becomes 10 over six. And now we look to see if there's anything that will cancel from the top to the bottom. And I can see right here, this divided by two, and I would get three. So now I can multiply straight across and get 10 over nine. Okay, and then you could reduce that if you were doing fractions. But we always flip the one we're dividing by, and then see if anything cancels, and then we're done. So let's take this problem right here, for instance. <clears throat> In order to solve this, I'm gonna keep this the same, but I'm gonna multiply by, flip this upside down, 27x squared over 8ab, and now I can look anywhere from top to bottom to see what will cancel. So let's look first at the number parts here. I'm seeing 27 and nine. They're both divisible by three, okay? Actually, both, both divisible by nine, okay? Because this is nine divided by nine is one. 27 divided by nine is three. Let's go this way. Can we cancel the eight against the 16? Sure. Get two and one. And now let's see about canceling the a's. So you remember we have a squared up here, and I have one a here. So it's kind of like saying a times a on the top, and I have an a on the bottom. So one of these will cancel out. So I can cancel that, and this becomes just a to the one. Same thing happens with b, okay? That cancels out, and this becomes b squared. I'm canceling one of them. It's kind of like saying b times b times b is b to the third power. And then over here, I have one b on the bottom. And so one of these will cancel one of these, and I'm left with two b's, which is b squared. All right? Let's do the same with the x's. Now I have more x's on the bottom. So I have two x's on the top, x squared. Down here I have x, 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 three x's. So this one cancels this one. This one cancels this one. All right, so I have one x down here, and that one's completely gone. So again, I'm gonna let you finish this. You're gonna multiply everything on the top together. So that means multiply the two times the three. You know how to do that. Keep the a and the b squared on the top. And then on the bottom, wow, everything is gone except the x. So you finish that one. Let's talk now about this one. It's another one of the problems you have in your lesson. And the tricky thing here is, <clears throat> all right, yeah, we're gonna flip this upside down. So I'm gonna just go ahead and right now write 4a plus 4b, put that over, a minus B. <clears throat> now that we flipped it, I can multiply. All right. Whenever we're doing these and some of the other pages, remember the first step is to look at it and see, is there a common factor that I can factor out first? And then I want to look at it to see if I can factor it into two parentheses. All right. So I'm going to jump right over here and I see that, aha, there's a common factor of four. So if I take that out, I have a plus b. Are you with me? Over a minus b. I like to put it in parentheses, okay? And then over here, let's see what we have. Remember factoring, it's perfect. Difference of perfect squares. So we'll do a, a, b, b. One's positive, one's minus. This one's a little trickier. <clears throat> I, this is the whole parenthesis squared. So what that means is a plus b times a plus b. Sometimes it helps to write it out that way. And then you can, 
then you can more easily see what cancels, all right? So we're not canceling a B against a B. We have to cancel factors, things that are being multiplied together. So this in parentheses is a protected quantity. So it is a factor all by itself. This is another factor. Same here, same here. But now I can look at this entire top and see, oh, I have an A plus B here. That will cancel, okay? I have one right above the other one. That will cancel. See if anything else cancels. And then once you've canceled everything that you can, whatever is left is your answer, okay? Hopefully we've taken you far enough that you begin to see what you need to do to finish that one and to finish the rest of pages 9 and 10.